Good morning, great gardeners. Um, it's summertime and we have an issue with tent caterpillars. We've had a few people in asking about it. Just to give you an idea what they are. This is the tent and you can see the little tiny caterpillars in there. Now they actually uh, feed at night and then during the day they crawl back inside their bags. So to control these guys there's a couple different methods. When they're back in their bags, which these guys are, are headed in, you can see them all squirming around. Once they're in the bag, or in the tent I should say, you can physically remove them with a plastic bag. Um, just put it over it. Shopping bag. Um, put your hand in there and, and literally just scrape them off. Um, if it's tiny branches like this, you could also just snip the ends and, and drop them into a bag, get them out of there. Again, it's one of those things you don't want to let them lay down on the ground because they're just going to come back up. Uh, and then as far as spraying, late in the evening or super early in the morning when they're outside the bag, you can use uh, BT. This is a very safe product um, and it, can, it kills all kinds of... A caterpillar and all kinds of larva and then to make it really simple if you have your dial and spray you just dump this in set it at the ratio I believe this is four teaspoons per gallon so you just dial till it's at that rate of four teaspoons as I said you, you pour that in you hook it up to your hose and the pressure of your hose when you squeeze this. So if you've got them real high up where you can't get the physically remove the bags, you can spray up there, give them a dose, um, and you repeat it at weekly intervals um, until you get the caterpillars under control. What's super nice about this is it siphons it up at this at the rate. Um, there is no mixing, so when you're finished, you just dump the product back into the bottle. So there's no waste at all. So that's that. And then as I said, you can take the bag and you can go like this and strip them off. Um, or something as small as this, it might just be simpler. You know, if you can, as always, go to an outside bud. Give that a snip. And you're done. If you really feel like it's necessary, you can squish them all up once they're in there. Um, or just give them to the trash man. Good to go. Now we want to show you some of the fun stuff, the behind the scenes action here at Wilson's. If any of you got on to Facebook yesterday, you saw that Holly um, blogged about Harry doing the ordering and how we grow a lot of our own stuff. Just to give you an idea, this is one of our mom houses. We have a few of them, quite large. Uh, the production girls get in the, the mum plugs. They're a little tiny plug. They get planted up into these containers. We grow them on. Uh, they get pinched. There's a lot of behind the scenes work that goes on uh, to give you the best quality plant that we can get to you. Uh, this particular mum is called Wanda Lavender. But we won't, just want to kind of keep you um, up to date on what's happening so as these continue to mature and grow we'll show you when they start to come out in color we'll give you an idea of what's coming out first and we also wanted to show you some of the larger moms so we'll head to another greenhouse and show you what those look like so here we are in the giant mom house there's Debbie down there fertilizing they need to be monitored constantly for water and fertilizing needs. You can see the mums are quite large already. They'll be beautiful. Um, they could be planted right in the landscape or you know just set in the, the decorative pots on your porch. So keep that in mind here in the next month or so. These will be closer to, to ready to sell and um, they will give you lots of fall color.
Well, we hope you enjoyed today's little mini tour. Um, as always, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see, please just give us a shout, and we would be happy to try and accommodate your wishes. So thanks again, and have a great gardening day. <laughs> Gross.